Good afternoon, board game geeks. Dolly here. Stuck in solitude, <laughs> like many people out there. Um, so I'm going to do a few sort of playthroughs of Alien Legendary Encounters or Legendary Encounters Alien, um, which are in the background, as you can see. Uh, recently acquired the Alien Queen expansion and Alien Covenant expansion. Um, I've not put any of the cards in for this run. I've decided to wait and have more players involved with it and throw in the option rule of hidden agendas, which is always good. Um, as I'm playing on my own, I've upped each chapter. Um, I've put three additional drones per chapter in there. Um, just to give myself a little bit of a challenge. So in the last two games we played with three of us have got absolutely slaughtered. Um, I've picked the commander, hoping to recruit more people and get the objectives done a lot quicker. Um, so objective one is find both parts of the SOS. Um, and the event on it is uh, rough landing, you and the next player each draw a strike. We'll cover hazards when that comes across because they're horrible. Um, I'm debating whether to give myself a bit of a, a head start, but I'm not. So, movement begins turn one. So, in my hand today, I have one, one little combat, that's not going to do me anything. But I have four recruit, which is grand. So with that, I will be going for, um, you have your orders two. The next one, damn it, and I will go with quarantine procedure, which will be amazing. God damn it, awesome! Five, right, do 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 do. So, I hope you're all well. So, this time around, we've got one recruit and four combat this time around. So combat works in uh, a way that it is used to kill and it is used to reveal locations. As I had four, I may as well go with the big one and see what that is. Oh, straight away, part one of the SOS, get in. Halfway to being complete. Next enemy on the board. So, uh, for those that haven't played any legendary games, uh, basically what's going to happen is the enemy moves across and they push each other along. Um, like a creeping death. Um, which is always good. Uh, the whole point was I'm recruiting these cards to get a better hand. The more and more I play it, the more and more I recruit. Uh, specific cards will let me kill cards in my deck, which means I can get rid of bad stuff and cards that are becoming pointless and useless. Yes. So, um, I have my Avatars card. I've just reshuffled my deck because we only start with 12 cards. So, that allows me to draw an additional card. So it goes straight to my hand and allows me to, once this turn, you may gain a sergeant or any character in HQ that costs three or less. I will probably, for the quickness, I will go for Lambert. Lambert is a, ooh, electric pride. Uh, so, in my hand, I have, after shuffling, 
Four recruit and two shooties. Um, the two shooties aren't going to do me much good. Um, my, you have your orders. Uh, look at the top two cards of the barracks, put one on the bottom and one back on top. May as well. Okay, so both combat, both really good. I'm going with captain of the ship because there's already one in play. Um, Based because uh, the blue symbol is what you need to get the additional effect. Even though the other one, find it and kill it, is good. Um, but I have no one to coordinate with. The coordinate rule is if there's another player, I can get to play that card to coordinate with them and give them an extra boost. Excuse me. Uh, to damage. So I, as I have for recruit, I am taking captain of the ship. Ta da! The real captain of the ship. Five cards drawn, enemy moves down. Okay. So, as I was saying, there's cards that let you get rid of stuff like this. Is why I picked this one up. Uh, look at the top card of the player's deck. You may kill it or put it back. Um, I'm going to see what it is. I'm going to kill it. Because it was just a specialist. Um, I want to whittle these down so I get my better cards out as quickly as possible. Um, I've only got two attack this time round, um, which isn't going to do anything. But a free recruit. Um, I am going to take one of them. Which then does that. <laughs> Gonna have to uh, start dealing with these cards up top. Did well with the first card, and now I'm looking at the Doom. Um, so you're going to see what's, uh, what's going to happen. Right. Five cards in hand. Sorry about the angle, guys. I'm, I'm still on a, a basic camera, so it's sort of stuck where it is. Um, so I've got two recruit, which does not get me anything currently. And for combat, so I am. Um, Let me go this one. Oh no. First hazards card. So, hazards, you go through this little doohickey. Add two hive cards to the complex. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. Um, it's not what I wanted. Uh, I will pay two to reveal a med lab. And it's an egg. It doesn't strike, but if an event card comes up, put a face hugger icon from the hatchery in front of you. I could be chest bursted again. Okie dokie. So, this one does not move. Uh, the egg stays where it is. Everything moves up. I could be playing that wrong, but that's how I've been playing it. Maybe if you, if anyone sees this and got clarification on the egg, do they just skip over it or do they just land on top of it? Let me know. It's, I always play it as it's counted as just being uh, not in the way. Um, so I've got my avatar card again. It's like I need to draw a card. Which is just another group, um, well, specialist. Uh, I'm again a sergeant or character from HQ, three or less. I will obviously claim first aid because it's looking like I might need it. Another Lambert card. Oh, right, we'll do the quarantine. Quarantine procedure, first of all, 
Uh, look at the top card of the deck. I will kill that. It's just another specialist. Let's put all these cards right down. Right. Look at the top two cards of the barracks. Put one on the top and one on the bottom. So, find it and kill it. Quarantine procedure. Uh, so, these are my choices. I am going to go with the quarantine procedure. It's less damage, but it has the blue icon. And the blue icons are what I'm after with Captain of the Ship. For extra damage. So, all in all, I've got two... Two lovely chunks of damage. So what I'll do, I'll reveal this one. Second piece. Boom, right, we'll cover that in a moment. Um, then I have four recruits left over. And you know what, I'm going to have captain of the ship. Yes. So, complete the first objective let me show you uh find both parts of the sos both parts of the sos are complete we'll slide them there objective two lock the ventilation shaft so and the, when i reveal an event the next player discards two random cards from their hand which uh as I'm the one playing it, what I'll do, I'll take the top two cards of uh, my deck and I will put them in the discard pile. Seems only fair. Deck is shuffled, aliens move down, one by one by one. Not getting anything good at the minute. So, um, let me show you what I've got. So, I have four combat. Uh, I have my expert navigator, but I don't have another tech symbol. Uh, so, I do not gain the benefit of her skills. Uh, and then, I have three recruit. And once again, I do not have a additional red symbol, so I cannot heal a strike. Uh, I don't have a strike, but it... You get the idea. So with free recruit. Oh, shucks. I can go with either Lambert or quite, we'll go with Lambert. Lambert, let's get her about in. See, when you play it with uh, more people, it's better that you try to focus on a specific two types so we've got your techs um oh, i forget what they're called where's my little lock Ooh. give me my symbols let me cover them with you so i get the analogy analogy no the descriptions right okay okay blue symbol that's leadership the brain fort that's intel uh the punchy fist is strength, the red symbol is survival, which is this one here, and the circuit board is tech. Yes, nailed it. It says I'm never prepared. Right, and four combat. So what we will do with four combat, I'm going to kill uh, that egg. Because I don't like the look of it. And these with one left over, which I can't do anything with. Okay, this is where it gets fun. So, alien into the combat zone. Combat zone. It's an event. Uh, which is discard two random cards from the hand, which I'm going to discard quarantine procedures and a specialist. Wait a minute, is that a scar from their hands? 
Right, so what I'll do then, if that's the top two I've discarded, which leaves me with three cards in hand, which is terrible. Okie dokie. So I've got one recruit, which is not going to get me anywhere, and I have three combat. Um, I will scan the airlock. Oh, done it to me again. <laughs> so discard the top two, and then draw three. Um, and then run the next round. Back down to three cards. I have one recruit and two combat. And generic people. May as well scan the airlock again. It's an egg. At least it's not an event. So I get five cards back to normal. See, like, you start off well and that lures you into a false sense of security because it just goes wrong so quickly. people not here I'm still singing right right so back to the top we got our avatar card as per usual yes so I will uh, draw a card as it states not what I wanted I am going to recruit a first aider start getting the reds bouncing off each other um, I am going to need that electric prod at some point because I know what's coming. Oh, uh, I have one combat, which is bloody pointless. Um, I have six recruit though. Uh, we'll do the first one first, which is look at the top two cards of the HQ barracks. And I am going to keep that one and put that one on the bottom. So six recruitment. Oh, one off getting Lambert. Oh, shucks. Um, I've got to get it now. The electric power. Um, because it's such a good card. Hey, right, here we go. Boom. Right. So things are bad. We have an egg in the combat zone. So whenever a creature hits the combat zone, you reveal it straight away. So I have two, three, four, five new cards, and I need at least six combat to deal with two eggs before it goes all wrong, and I don't have it. <laughs> Dash. Um, so. This time around, I have. Ooh, if I can hold the cards properly. I have uh, four, four combat and three recruitment. I will. Hmm. As much as I want to scan, as much as I can, I need more combat. So I'm going to take that one. I'm going to have one. Moving over tight. <laughs> uh, then uh, normally cards bounce off each other, so it's still four combat left. I will kill another egg. Working alright. I'm gonna put that there for like that for now. Let's add some suspense. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, this alien can't be fought this turn. Oh, balls. <laughs> Fine, didn't want to fight it anyway. Issue is, it's in the combat zone and it is going to strike me. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, right, this time around, 
we have five combat and two recruit. Uh, two recruit's gonna be pretty straightforward. I will have quarantine again. Um, still waiting for it to kick off with my other uh, abilities. Five combat. Uh, I will destroy that egg before things go wrong. And the last two, I'm going to reveal that card. Woo -hoo -hoo. Uh, oh, I'm down to two less cards. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. All right, move the cards up. I have to take a strike from this little fella here because I wasn't able to fight this turn. And lucky enough, there is no other player. So the next player, I have to say it's me. So splash damage, so I take one hit with an additional hit. Oh, look at this. What trickery, madness. Stark is in disguise, this kill a random character in your hand that costs one or more. Oh, you just. Ooh. Right, discard two. Absolute garbage. <laughs> I was hoping to do this like on a solo playthrough and be like, yay, see, it's not that difficult. But unless unless we played it wrong, like way, way back, as you can tell here, the cards have warped a bit. That's how much I've played it. Um, and we normally do the, the first few missions, like first few, yeah, missions, uh, with no problem. So, uh, discarded two. I can only draw three cards. I've got to discard at least. Uh, oh, I've got to kill a random character in my. Oh my god! Right, so that's discarded. This one. So, killed a quarantine card. Just, just not on. I've got free recruitment. I'm going to get stabbed again by that alien. Um, I'm going to take this one. Uh, this moves down. That moves across. That moves across. That moves across. That moves across. That comes down. I take strike. <sighs> it's a deep cash. So down to eight health. Oh, sorry. Ah. <laughs> no. no. At least not to five cards at this time. Right. Avatar. Draw a card. Uh, I may recruit someone of free or less. Um, I will take a Lambert. Oh, wait. Oh. I just realised my avatar has the blue symbol. And I've, I don't think it has come up yet, but it, it hasn't. Alright, I have five combat. So, uh, I'm going to play Quarantine Procedure to look at the top card, and I'm going to keep it. Damn it. <laughs> so there's no point playing the other one. I was hoping to get rid of a few non-essential cards there. So, I have five combat. I am going to kill the Ambushed Medic. Because we do that, it allows me to heal any strike, and I'll take the two um, off me. Oh, this is not going well. This comes down, that goes across. That, 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 reveal that. It's an egg. We're okay. He's going to hit us again. Bop. Oh, Jesus. 
every goddamn time. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, my. Oh, that happened in the games. Oh, fine. Ooh, but things work out really well. So, I'm going to play You Have Your Orders by Captain Dallas. Uh, look at the top two cards. I want that Captain of the Ship on top and kill it later and go to the bottom. Because I played a tech card, I can play uh, Expert Navigator Lambert, which allows him to draw a card. Get that in the game. <gasps> yes, the prod. Uh, oh, I can't do it. There's no clear room in the complex. Damn it! <laughs> Fine. But it gives me more attacks to play with. It gives me six attacks total. And I've got five recruit this time round. So six attacks. Let's take care of these two. Um, just because they're in the way. Fine. That's six attack out of the game straight away. Uh, which leaves me was a five recruitment. Right. Let us see now. Um, um, gotta go what I'm gonna go with. So that's got a blue on it. Go with that one. It's expensive. Cards are coming in expensive. Uh, so this card comes down, move everything across. For those going, oh, why are you doing it in a weird order? It's kind of because I know how things pan out. If I don't do it my way, I, I get confused. So what happens is at the end of the phase, uh, anything here that's revealed strikes, then you move everything up. Then you reveal anything in the combat zone, then you take your turn, then they strike. Re rinse and repeat. Oh, we are. An event. Ah, oh, you just go. Oh, you. <laughs> just, just, you know, you know what? You know, um, just, yeah, you know. Oh. So that leaves me hanging in the wind with nothing. Uh, I have recruitment now, and first time I am going to recruit a sergeant with a tech symbol. Um, I always shuffle these, so uh, I don't know how other people play them, but I always shuffle so the cards come out randomly. Um, adds more spice uh, to the game when you're playing it. Let me get me hand sorted because why not? Let's have more more events going on. Don't really want them. Right. So that drops down. That moves up. up, 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 up. Uh, that one comes up. That that that. Oh, reveal that. No, oh, you just. Oh. Yeah. Just. Not right in the head. <laughs> so, for those like wondering what is happening and why I'm getting annoyed, is it's the next player uh, discards two cards at random. Um, so, as there is no next player, and I'm the next player. Um, I'm doing it to myself, so I'm injuring myself by my next hand is being dropped down by two cards every time an event is drawn and uh, what was that? Four I've had on this mission alone. <sighs> I have three combat and two recruit. Two recruitment is not going to get me anywhere. Um, so I'm going to reveal weapon blocker. 
This alien can't be fought if there is a hidden card next to it. Great. Great, great, great. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, okay. Right. Oh. Fair enough. So, I'm just going to discard the top two there and draw the next three. Should have gone random because I just discarded a good card. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so, I have uh, free recruitment. It's not going to give me anything. Free recruitment and two combat. Um, two combat. I'm going to scan this one. No, oh, no. That's not good. And free recruitment. I will take another sergeant. That moves down and now becomes more powerful because once it's in the combat zone, it gets plus three, and which is horrible. And I can't deal with it. Great, however. Ho, 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 ho. I have two first aid cards. Lovely! First aid strikes. Now, I had played it like the both cards bounce off each other and they both work, but I'm pretty sure that's playing it wrong. But I'm still going to heal both of those, getting me back to full health. Um, I don't have an extra tech and I don't have any intel. So I'm doing seven recruitment and two combat. The two combat, I'll reveal this card. Oh, Meddlesome Xenomorph. Upon its death, I get to scan any rune. Seven recruitment. I am taking Lambert. Her skill is straight up draw three cards. Um, so I'm taking a strike straight away from this lovely fellow. It's all right. It's just another do cash. That's bad as a massive blow to the face. Um, so he moves down. Yes, 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 yes. It's going to be... I'm just going to die now, aren't I? So, report for duty, playing my avatars. Supreme card. So I need to draw a card, which isn't any help. Uh, recruit someone. Ooh, I forgot to. Um, I'm going to recruit a sergeant, which is not the symbol I want. Great. Not getting better at all. Um, I have a specialist. Um, there's no point keeping that. There's nothing cost one to recruit. And I've got four combat, but I'm going to play quarantine procedure. Have a look at the top card. Oh, you, you just. Oh, it's just not right. Uh, I've got four combat, so I'm going to have to take two hits to the face. Um, you know, all right, what I'll do, I'll use one kill this guy. Doesn't give me anything. Play three. And I'm going to reveal power station. Jonesy! Reveal. If Jonesy in the complex, choose a player to gain him. Otherwise, kill him. Uh, we are in the complex. And I will gain Jonesy. Right, I'll take this right now. Because why not? Oh, it's a face Why, why, why not? Why not? So that slides up. Well, that slides up. Right. So, at the end of this turn, I have to kill it. 
Oh, I'm looking at the chest poster. And I can. And I can. So I have only two recruitment, um, but allows me to look at the um, barracks. Oh, I will tell you what I've seen. Um, and that's a tech card. So I'll play Lambert because I played a tech card. I get to draw a card, which means I need to shuffle my discard pile. Like how um, peaceful it is during these times of solitude. Ah. <laughs> Jonesy! Draw a card. Which is another expert on it. Uh, it says, cure a heal a flesh wound. Heal that. Because um, there's another expert navigator. I get to draw another card. Crazy, right? Let's. Jonesy's gone. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten combat this turn. Oh wait. Yeah, ten combat. Let's double check. Oh, quarantine procedure. Let's, let's do it. Oh, for God's sake. So what I'm, yeah, as I've explained, I'm waiting for the quarantine procedure to kill off. Terrible cards. So, uh, oh, he's seven, isn't he? Yeah, I've got to do it. Uh, so I'll kill this one for seven. Uh, reveal power station. Why not? Uh, and then you just turn this alienism complex, turn it face down. Damn it. Just, just, you know what? <laughs> Give him that a chance. Please. Right. Now I don't have enough to kill that. Right. Um, I'm going to play Quarantine Procedure because I think I've bought all of them out of the thing. You're tend to be a useless guy. You've done one thing that you're meant to do. So I've got free combat. Free combat's not going to get me anything. So we'll keep going with the power station. Um, that's shedding xenomorph, that's not good. That's good where it is. Um, I have four recruitment and there's no, no simple way of... Where I'm gonna put that, I'm having that. And there it is, last survivor of the Stromo. Ooh, yeah. Um, we're gonna take a strike from that. It's just a flesh wound. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I don't have that. I still have that. Jonesy heals the card that says flesh wound. Oh, darn it. That, that's, <laughs> that's made things worse. Okie dokie. So that card goes down. That goes, that goes, that goes, that goes, and that goes. Oh, oh no, forgot about that. I've got a chest poster on my, uh, in my discard pile. I completely, I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. There's no redos. Oh no. Um, right. Hazard number two. Uh, it's loose. Put the top card of the hive into the combat zone. Oh no. Attach <laughs> uh, the ventilation shaft. Right. So. Things are going to get ugly. Oh, right. We can get these strikes out a lot away now. So I uh, got my first aid again. So I can heal myself. Get rid of those two before this starts getting 
out of control. Um, then I have five recruitment. Um, I might as well take, find it and kill it. Oh, it's the good Lambert card. And I got four. You know what? I used four to kill him. Let's, let's stop him from beating the crap out of me. Oh, that's from the strike deck. Um, upon death, I may scan any room. I want to. Done that wrong. I'll have a scan of this one. A skittering. Skittering, skittering, skittering. That moves, that moves, that moves, that moves, that moves. Um, see, this is the problem now. I could end up in a situation where um, I can't actually. Stop things spawning onto the ventilation shaft. Well, we've done good here. So I have got one combat, which isn't going to help me this turn. Uh, but I have six recruitment, um, and the thumbs in the way here. Let me go up on the bomb. Uh, two art techs, and that tech allows me to scan any room. I am going to look at the ventilation shaft and hopefully it's, yes, no. <laughs> so as I've already revealed, so it will be on my next turn, I will be discarding, uh, only having three cards in my hand. I'll use two to seal the ventilation shaft, which moves the hive there, uh, give me one less space to play with. See, it's going well. Uh, and these last four of my recruitment to, to gain that, which moves us on to the final objective. Perfect organism. Kill the perfect organism. Move the leftmost enemy or hidden card in the complex to the combat zone. Okay. Um, I'm going to take strike from little dude here. Oh, I can't heal this one. Um, and as we've got less to play with. Oh, why not? Why not? Why not, why not, why not? I've got a scar too, haven't I? Um, randomly, these two, oh, for sweet, look what I just discarded. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I've only got four recruitment. Uh, might as well take repair the ship. Damn it. Repair the ship. Um, I'm taking two strikes this turn. Um, brutal puncture. Which knocks me down again. And another deep gash. Knocks me down again. So that is put me on six damage. I have five health left. God damn this game. That card's coming down. That card moves up, moves up, moves up. Those events have royally screwed me over. I don't want to reveal that card. I really don't. And at no point have my cards bounced that much. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we're in for some good ish things so we'll play lambert first which lets me draw three cards okay okay 
So, but <laughs> second time, um, oh, I actually forgot I picked it up. So I'm dead, and that's the first level again. Um, as I said, time be taken out by a chest burster, which seems to be a recurring theme now. Um, as it happens again, um, then it's I, I expect it to happen every game. Damn it. <laughs> Genuinely disappointed there. I thought it was going to hold in. So what do we have? An event coming up. Um, oh, double strike. Right, so. That's where chapter two ends with this card. Chapter three started here. I revealed one of the chapter three cards already. And then the perfect organism was right there. But the problem with having him there, oh, the airlock was right behind him. So close, yet so far. But I'm when this happened to me the very first time, I was so happy. Um, I, I could not have been any more pleased with the outcome of how that game worked. And now I'm kind of, I'm partly disappointed, but I'm also happy that it has took me out. <laughs> Better be taken out the official way through a chest burster than any other way. Because um, that's the circle of life. Oh, I love this game. Um, as I said, you can tell, uh, my cards are warped and a bit bent. Uh, I should get some uh, card protectors at some point, but then it's adding up. Uh, I'll have to look through the box and find out how many cards are actually in this. Um, and then consider getting color coordinated, which I can't bother. Um, but that's all money. Money, money, money. Um, but yes. This is uh, Legend of Characters Alien. Um, I'm yet to beat this first level on camera. So I'm going to clear it all up. Um, go have a break. Um, focus my face. And we will head off to Hadley's Hope on LB426. And see how we fare against the hive there. Because we didn't do well against one of them. I say we, it's me, it's just me. Um, so, we've hit the end. Um, as I said, I love this game. It's one of my go-tos. Uh, it's good to bring people in to see how cooperative games work. Um, the actual universe of Alien is horrific and brutal, and I that's why I, I, I kind of like it, because it's so realistic at times that we could venture out to the stars and come across something so horrific. So, yeah. Um, so, usual shout out to Bowling Wizard, uh, full of loads of new adventures they uploaded. Um, go to Facebook and they've got all the links there, which takes them to the Dungeon Masters Guild. Um, it's up to the fifth campaign with more to come out. Uh, these are small, short, short adventures uh, to get your group going and diving in. Um, Yes, they're very meticulous. Um, strict the point and follow the guidelines for you to getting from point A to point B. Uh, we have some elements along the way which will make it more fun. Then, da -da -da -da. who else can we shout out? Oh, Slight Fan Club uh, podcast. Uh, I think the guys are still going through this whole situation, uh, or they're preparing to 
keep going as best they can. Um, they're doing a podcast right now for their D&D homebrew. Uh, it's going really well for them. Um, some of the adventures are quite, quite funny. Um, stick with them. Go check them out. They are, they are doing well. Um, I'm running with Nodo D uh, this week to do a one-shot mission with them, and we'll see how it goes. It could be one. Of, it could go for one podcast. It could go for multiple, um, and then it could lead to a bigger campaign. Um, once back to some normality, we'll be going live with uh, a Twitch stream. Uh, covering the alien RPG and then also diving into the world of Dungeons and Dragons uh, as me as the DM GM and mother to bring my imagination to the screen and boards and generally terrorize people's minds uh, hopefully I can make it entertaining um, but that's down to you guys to decide. Uh, come follow us on Twitch. We're under Summon Games DM, all one word. Um, there's not much on there at the minute. I will admit that. Um, but I'm hoping to get uh, a few things going once we're back on track. Um, we're also looking into Patreon, doing bigger, longer games, uh, like campaign games, but we don't know if this is something that people will find appealing. We're trying to find out um, from yourselves is something that you'd want. Um, we're not going to charge the world for you getting involved. Um, and we can do unique giveaways via that. If not, we'll just stick to the YouTube and the live streams. And from that, we will do giveaways by that we'll have to wait up and see what's happening uh, uh, my end goal is to make this into a career move that's what i want to achieve from it and your support has been amazing so far so please let everyone know give us a subscribe spread the word um competitions are going to be coming up as soon as uh some kickstarters arrive um because I've added extras to the order and I will be doing giveaways. Um, one of which is Solar Storm. Uh, for those that you missed that on Kickstarter, it looks like a fantastic card game. So that will be one of our giveaways down the line. Um, so please follow us on YouTube, subscribe to us, uh, follow us on Facebook and any social media we're all on some games come find us stay in touch uh competition giveaways will be announced as quickly as possible so i have a break and then we'll carry on with more filming yay so take care everyone much love